And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a special day. We're going to be just having an Allegiance Day where we are playing um, four decks built around some different Allegiance cards that don't see too much play. We're starting with PNZ Allegiance uh, for our first one. We're going to call this deck Sumps, Sumps Knight Victor. And we had a, a donation deck to, to put this one together. And then after putting this together, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to play some other Allegiance cards. And so we're going to play, like, Yordle Grifter. We haven't played Yordle Grifter in forever. Same with Vanguard Bannerman. It's been so long since we played those cards. We're going to try those out. And then, of course, Avros and Outriders will play that one as well. So go back and tr we're going to play some, uh, um, some other Allegiance cards that we haven't played in a long time. This one... For Piltover and Zaun is going to be Sump Snipe Scavenger. For me at a 4-3, if we if we hit the Allegiance, which hopefully we will, we'll have a pretty good shot. We'll have a 40 out of 40 shot, so um, you know, good pretty good chance. But if we're lucky enough and we do, then we will uh, create a Sumpworks map in hand, and then that Sumpworks map will cost zero this round. So the point of our deck is to um, you know we the Sumpworks map's granting elusive. So we want to have a very large threat that's elusive. And so we're going to be using Vi and Victor um, to for those to be our very large threats. Of course, Vi gets that plus one plus zero whenever you play a spell. It can get to 10 power. Um, not too difficult to get that. So, you know, we, we can have like a, a 10 power Vi that we grant that elusive. Or Victor um, has Augment. And so each created card that we're playing grows the power um, you know, grants it plus one, plus zero. So, you know, maybe we play five, six, seven um, created cards and, you know, Victor's uh, power is just continue continue to go up. Then we throw the Sumpworks map on Victor and uh, give it elusive that way. So that's kind of our plan there. We also have um, Ballistic Bot, which again, this is another card with Augment that the power can grow and so we can Sumpworks map that. Um, but besides that, um, we, we have good removal, especially with all these three damage things these days. We have Get Excited, Aftershock, and Gotcha. Um, we have our we have regular Sumpworks maps that we can use, but then we can also we also have a good amount of card advantage in here. We're going to be playing Rummage, Zonite Urchin, and uh, Sump Dredger to be able to filter through our deck to be able to find our Sumpworks maps. Or if we have if we have like multiple Sumpworks maps and multiple Scavengers, we don't need all of them. You know, we can discard them and draw other cards. Um, and stuff like that. And, you know, like we have like all these different created cards, you know, improvement. We're going to hopefully get Ballistic Bot on that. So we'll have like these different created cards we can discard to filter through the deck. Um, Flash of Brilliance, I think, is just a card that's kind of underrated. I'm playing this over like Trail of Evidence or, you know, anything else like that. Um, so basically, I think, the Flash, I think the Flash of Brilliance could be really good for us. Okay, so it's going to make a six plus cost spell from our regions. And as you see, like, our, my curve's pretty low, right? Like, it ends at four besides just Vi. Like, Vi is the only five drop. Besides that, everything's four or less. However, PNZ has a couple of really powerful cards. You know, Progress Day, great card. You know, draw three. Like, in, there's going to be certain games where we're going to want access to Progress Day. And Flash or Brilliance can give us that. Same with Give It All. You know, like, maybe we're uh, making large Victor with some, uh, you know, different keywords. We can Give It All with that. Or, you know, like we Sumpworks map something, give it elusive, and, and we have something that's large, something that's elusive, then we can play Give It All and finish games out. So, like, I was thinking about playing a singleton copy of, like, Give It All and Progress Day, but I was like, you know what, I could just play Flash of Brilliance instead, and Flash of Brilliance costs zero mana, and you can get these two cards um, sometimes, or other times, like, True Shot Barrage can be awesome. But then your other two options, you got Transmogulator and, and Unlicensed Innovation, you don't really want those. But however, there's not really any downside like, downside to this. Because if we just go Flash of Brilliance and we make like a Transmogulator that we don't want, we just discard it and draw a new card, you know, with all this, all these like discard draw cards. So it's it basically gives us, um, it's a free card that has really high upside that can like give it all progress day. Like these cards can win games, True Shop Barrage. But if they're not going to win games and they're just expensive and we don't need them, the downside's very minimal because we can just discard them and, and uh, replace them. So I, I like the Flash of Brilliance in here. You know, more, I think it has a higher upside over things like Trail of Evidence and stuff like that. Um, let's see. Sometimes Death Ray is going to be really good against like a Zoe deck, but other times not. So this, like Death, Death Ray, Thermogenic Beam, these are cards that can be pretty decent um, at times, but if you don't need them, you can discard them and find other stuff. 
And Poro Cannon can just be a couple of elusives um, that also are, are two cards for your augment. Okay, so that's our deck. It's Sump Snipe Victor. We're heading on over to Master's Rank for our Allegiance Day. And we're, we're playing these in rank. And we're going to see if we can compete with some um, Allegiance cards that people have kind of forgotten about. All right, it's working out. We had a little bit of server server issues. But we're back. And we're facing Karma Thresh. Well, let's see. Poro Cannon can actually make... Let's see, the thing is, like, they go, like, Withering Whale. It kills all these things. But it does help level up Victor pretty quickly. Getting those two Daring Poros. But no, they just die too easily. Get rid of both of those. The Mystic Shot, if they play... Um, River Shaper. That's cards they have. Man. Hopefully, Victor stands for Victory. I taste purple. Yay. That, that would have been a good card to Mystic Shot. Nopify. Good chance I should have just not played the ignition last turn, because then... That's fine. If I waited, I could have had Vi plus... Um, you know, the Hex core upgrade and the ignition. Well, that's alright. Alright, well, we got our our Victor to already be elusive anyway. But we can have, like, the Scavenger make a Sumpworks map. And then discard the Sumpworks map to rummage. Cool, elusive and regen. It's not broken, just needs a little love. Before Ruination. Ingenious. Genius in action. No materials. That's number four. Good. Tough's a good one. Our deck's pretty cool. Because, see, I'm thinking this is probably Ruination. Right? Like, there's a good chance they do that. We've gotten really good keywords, though. You know, regen, tough. Spell shield? That's too bad. Like Aftershock. <laughs> More concussive bombs. Yes, of course. Stunning. Whoa. I get to I can interrative improvement their rekindler. That sounds cool. So basically I want to play the Hexcore upgrade, but I also I think that Hexcore upgrade is probably the card I need to discard as far as you know, because I'm definitely casting Get Excited this turn. Um I guess it's the card I have to discard. Vicious. Another brilliant design. Face 
me. Still at five. Um, yeah. Genius. Yeah. Alright, leveled up Victor. Design. So they're gonna have leveled up Karma. They're gonna have like Vi try to fight Karma. Yes, of course. Electroplating completed. Cool, spell shield. That's nice. Ingenious. Want to give them a chance to play Ruination, and then I play other stuff. Ugh. Let's get to the fun part. So the reason, like, I want to save that Terra Tip Improvement so they don't know about it, but the reason to play it, like, two, two, one, we're killing the Rekindler here, but then two, also, like, I want the 10 power on the Vi. Their ideas stagnate. So if I have Victor in play, and then also have Rekindler put Victor back into play, if I have two Victors in play, then this Vault Breaker now, like, these fleeting Vault Breakers only cost one mana each. <laughs> That could be like a you know a bunch of surprise damage. I mean I I don't think that that's gonna like happen because I assume if we have multiple victors in play then we probably do not also have I in play. Metal is perfection. We burn, then kindle the new. The answer lies within. Within what? It's possible they play health potion and meet by me waiting. That messes up health potion. So I'm sorry, Vi. I guess I discarded Vi. Because, all right, so we know that one of the top two cards is that <clears throat> that card that I want to draw right now. The One of the top three cards is the thing that bolts this. And I think I keep Rekindler, so I'm sorry, Vi. Death Ray, that card. Yes, of course. All right, awesome. GG's. Sub Snipe Victor, want to know? Anivia. All right, so another slow control deck. This one's probably going to be more difficult for us. We don't really have great answers against Anivia. Maybe they don't have Anivia in their uh, hand for a long time. That would help out. Attack. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Lots of sump dredgers. I guess I just discard this iterative improvement. I want to keep these sump dredgers. And it's like it's like why spend two mana on an iterative improvement if I'm just going to be if I'm just going to have these sump dredgers anyway. Boro cannon. If if they don't play a single card the entire game, I think we'll win. I think. Oh no! What are they doing? They're playing cards. That was a part of the plan. That wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> Why play Subsnipe Scavenger whenever your victors just always have elusive anyway? Spell shield. Quick attack. Alright, so there's the Vengeance. So we know they cannot Ruination this next turn. Hey, what's up, Mind Splitter? What do we just get? Regen. Cool. I'm doing this my way. Something ancient stirs. Freeze! So unfortunately, they had, they did have the best card in their deck, the only one that matters. I was hoping they never had that card. Not that lucky. Alright, let's see. Let's go... Maybe I should just go this Sump Treasure, actually. Yeah, because I just think, like, the, like, Withering Whale, Avalanche, that kind of stuff. Like, if I go the Poro Cannons, just kill those pretty easily. Let's just play a Sump Treasure out. If I had one more mana, we would have Aftershocked the Egg Nivea. Okay, that'll do. Stands for well, I think they only play, let's see, they played three cards the whole game. So I guess we can beat three cards. Five zip. Ooh, Aphelios Leeson. Well, we were having fun playing against non aphelios for a little bit, but you can't go, you know, can't go too many matches in a row without facing aphelios. Let's well again one of the TVs. We'll keep one each of the champions and an aftershock. Some for more like ballistic bot. Yuck. We Sumpworks map worst two for us to find, and then we're just we're just drawing the top of our curve. Must be nice having your two drop. Yeah, we really are drawing the top of our curve because remember, our curve stops at four. Besides Vi, Vi is the only card that costs more than four in our deck. I don't know. I'm only wasting one more mana than them, so it's not like it's not like that big a deal. But I would rather I'd rather have aftershock for Aphelios and that Veil Temple. Challenger? Feel 
is a Wow. Double temple. Shield. It's always good to have. So I cannot aftershock plus cast Vi. Prefer to have Vi right now. But we gotta kill these Veil Temples. Yuck. So their last draw was deep meditation, and then and then in the deep meditation they drew deny. The different Flash of Brilliance cards, none of them will really help that much right now. Um, I'm probably going to need the Mystic Shot to get rid of the barrier from the Lee Sin. Tough. Uh, overwhelm. My lands, your spirit. Targon has a million answers to, um, you know, to this, you know, Hush, Guiding Touch, um, Star Shaping, any Elusive Blocker. I see I I Ionia has a bunch of stun cards they could play. Two lefts, then a right. But I'm gonna force them to have something. Act free of doubt. And unfortunately they did, they did they did have hush. Hush is a great card against our deck. Not too bad for a minute. I am superior life form. Force Come on, really? Without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. System upgrade. Inferno. All right, so two and one. So 
So yeah, we know what's, what was going to happen there in the next few minutes with that Aphelios Lee Sin deck, and it's just something I didn't really want to <laughs> experience. I didn't want them to just, like play all those spells, kill myself Lee Sin, kill me with that big Lee Sin overwhelm. I just wanted to save myself from that experience, so just went ahead and conceded and went to the next game. And we're playing now. We're playing against um, Draven Jinx. That should be a pretty quick, fast deck. I'm not sure if I actually have time for both Ballistic Bots. That's the thing. I think I may have to mulligan one Ballistic Bot. Because I think we're going to have, have Aftershock on three. I guess we just keep it. Because, you know, we're, we'll have Bot on two, Aftershock on three, Victor on four. But I guess there's a chance. Because we we'll probably need, like, we need, like, the Aftershock to kill, like, the champions. But I guess there's a chance they don't have, like, Draven on three. And that I don't play Aftershock on three. And then maybe we play the other Bot on three. Flesh was weak. But, look at me now. but then also on like turn, you know, six, it's not bad having this bot, you know, or just like a later turn where you can play like bot plus play something else. You can double spell with it, with it being a two mana card. And I'll lead, I'll go ahead and lead with the aftershock. <clears throat> so I know the aftershock can do nexus damage, but I, I'd rather keep the fast spell with the gotcha for later. Yeah, we're... I'm not gonna block there and... Let them spinning axe. Safety disengage. Okay. So now with Victor... Victor's just a 2-4. It's maybe better to play... One of these other cards that... Maybe save a little bit of mana. Okay, not bad. Yordle Grifter. Uh, that's Bilge Water. Yeah, so the next one, Yordle Grifter, is the Bilge Water card. Okay. Wow. Yeah, great hand. <clears throat> Good hand. Alright, so we take seven, go to nine. It's possible I need to be bolting the elusive <clears throat> instead of saving one life. I should kill the elusive. Anything else? <laughs> but we do have some snipe scavenger. We'll get some damage in. And this is not an exact copy, it's just a copy of it. So like I can't I can't like interrogative improve with this ballistic bot and then it's also um elusive. But we can copy the um some some snipe scavenger. I didn't think too much about that of uh, playing play Victor get death ray. Maybe I should have done that of play Victor get death ray. Um, I, I of course really want life steal. That's what I want the most right now, and I should have just played this bot first. Yeah, I should have played that first. That would have been a two three. I was thinking I was gonna go ignition death ray, but then I realized that no, we should probably just do that afterwards. Okay. Um. Well, we'll lead. Mm. Yeah, we'll just leave with this. Come on, life steal. No materials, no improvements. Fury. Their hands probably just all burn spells. 
Like, I'm probably just dead right here. Like, if they're not playing anything out, like, that's... They probably have, like, Get Excited Mystic Shot, and they're just waiting for me to tap out. That'd be my guess. My guess is I'm just dead. The human mind takes time. But we'll see. Hopefully not. Love seeing that. No, oh, you have Challenger? Okay, that's that's gotta be get excited plus you know, a spell to discard to get excited, and now they're just looking for the other piece of burn for the one last damage, and I hope they don't find it. Hopefully they just draw another unit. That's what that's gotta be. I'm looking for fast speed damage. <clears throat> yeah, I probably should have hit them with the, the three. Because, yeah, I was looking for fast speed damage in case that they have the fast speed damage. Mm. Wrong, wrong fast speed damage spell, but I. Couldn't find any, so please don't have it. All right, they didn't have it. Good. Sump snipe scavenger. I'll cure flash. And I will just keep these. I could see like the Flash of Brilliance. I mean, this this is like a little ways down the road, but Flash of Brilliance could. We don't really need this Poro Cannon. I don't need one ones against Fiora. Um, the Flash of Brilliance could get the Transmogulator and then turn, you know, like a Caretaker or a Scythria or something like that into. Something a lot worse. Humanity is obsolete. Safety disengage. No Fiora, no Fiora. Yay, no Fiora. Nature blesses her followers. No Fiora. Um, I'll just pass. Do they want to pass? That'd be cool with me. No attacks? Nah, darn. They attacked. System Rise, metal brethren. Can you improve perfection? Flash of Brilliance. So I think I want to get another Ballistic Bont. Yeah. I am superior life form. No Shen, please. No Shen. Yay. No Shen. No Fiora and no Shen. The entire game, please. Okay, so I'm probably gonna rummage away these two um, created cards. Right over your head. 
You're in over your head. So ordinary. This is my better block against um the the two you know the plus two plus two. Sharp sight, yeah. I think that's my best block against sharp sight. Alright, I will take that. I like River Shaper being out here. And my ballistic bot staying alive, and I'm I'm just trading my one mana card for a sharp sight. That's a great trade for me. So yeah, good trade all around. Now let's just go ahead and rummage these away. These streets like me. We swim within the flows of magic. These woods protect their own. Maybe we should have just rummaged away the Sumpark's map. Because again, they they are a, a sharp sight deck, and I'm not really that confident in, in uh, that plan working Save right now. Um, I mean, they, they always play the lifesteal barrier. This is our first game of the five that we haven't had, like, champions, right? Like, all the other four games, we've had a bunch of champions. Still just passing. I think I just take the round where I, I played a bunch of... I, I just like spent mana and they didn't spend mana. Oh, I thought I had room... I thought I had room for three cards. I guess I... Oh, I guess I had eight cards in hand, not... Yeah, I guess I had one too many cards in hand. Well, how about that? Okay, so this will leave me with six mana if I cast Aftershock. So we're looking at Mystic, Mystic. Basically just that, just Mystic, Mystic. The reason to play Aftershock right now, of course, is because it's low speed. Okay, so that's two sharp, two sharp sights down, as far as Sumpork's map is concerned. What form will the waters take? Waters are still. That was very good for them. So I go. Nature blesses her followers. Are you lost? That was really good for them. So think about playing the... No, we, we gotta play this. Alright, so fantastic turn for them. Those single combats were real perfect. Like, those were perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Rummage. Yeah, I probably just have to cast these two. If I if I do that, what like the the thing is I'm not sure which one of these to discard to some treasure. It's maybe the thermogenic beam. Maybe that's just the get excited. The get excited's fast. Gucci says thermo. Yeah.
We were looking so good just a little bit ago. But then I passed when I had I had eight cards in hand. I thought I had seven. I miscounted, and so I burned that flash of brilliance. Like right, like having another flash of brilliance that could, could they could grab like a, you know a progress day or something else like this would be really nice. So I, I messed that up. I passed when I couldn't, and then they've just had all these fight spells, and it's gone really, really well for them. I guess I have to block here. I don't know. These Hexcore upgrades are just really solid. They're probably not as good as a random card in my deck, though. Ugh. Kinda wish I just started to get excited now. Grace up like me, now give you anything. But there's so much cool stuff in the sun. Nature bless Our wills align. Nature blesses her followers. You're gonna need a map. A great mind must never idle. Wait, what? Oh, oh yeah, I didn't play this. Okay, never mind. Sorry, I thought I played this. This card. Please let it happen. We need to put them down to nine and have these things. They've already played two sharp sites and they've played a ton of fight spells. Just take the damage, please. Okay, good. They're gonna pass. I don't want No, so I, I don't want to use the, the aftershock right there. I don't want them to know that their life total is as much under duress as it really is. Right? I want them I want them to think that they're safer than what they are. Um this is lethal though if I don't really do anything about it. Oh, I should I should cast Aftershock though on them. And then I could respond with the two get excited. Yeah, I don't know I don't know why I didn't do that. I was just thinking about yeah, I should have definitely just cast the Aftershock right now. Yeah, I don't, yeah, that was I'm sorry, that was a That was a big mistake. Because they go pump spell, I could have responded with the get excited. Yeah. Balance favors you. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't cast that aftershock right there in the past. That was just, you know, that was just a mistake that happens whenever you play. <laughs> you play hours of the card game every single day. You're gonna make a couple mistakes, and that was one by me. Yeah, I think I think it was. In I think it was pretty likely they had Deny or Nopify for how, you know, they were just, you know, saving those other cards in hand that we don't know about. Very likely, you know, one of them was a Deny or Nopify. But, you know, I could have at least, you know, checked them. And if I would have played that Aftershock first. Uh, so you never know. All right, so, yep, that was my bad. But I liked our I liked our deck. I think it did pretty well. You know, three and two. Nothing wrong with that with Master's Rank. We did lose to, like, the, the two best decks that we played against, we did lose to with Fiora Shen being a really good deck, and then the Aphelios deck, you know, those are our losses. Our, our wins were against decks that aren't quite as good, you know, like some non-Targon decks and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, like, I think just for, for this was a donation deck to build a deck with all Piltover and Zon. Um, I was very happy with our deck for just the all Piltover and Zon deck. Uh, very happy with that. Hey, yep, yeah, mistakes, mistakes happen. You know, we're, nobody's perfect. It's, you know, good to, the, the thing about mistakes is they're going to happen. You just try to, you know, try to watch for them and try to learn from them and, you know, try not to make the same mistakes twice. You know, like that's, that's the real thing about mistakes is try, try not to mess it up again. Um, but yeah, I was, I was very happy with our deck and, and the, we didn't do too much with the flash of brilliance, but I, I still like it in here. Um, I think it just has higher upside than, you know, a card like uh, trail of evidence does. 
And, um, you know, I, I made two mistakes that game, right? Like, I, I made, you know, not only that very last turn, but then also, like, that other turn, how we burned a Flash of Brilliance because of, um, you know, because I miscounted the cards in hand. If if I play something else, don't burn that, that Flash of Brilliance, then, you know, like, that turn before, like, maybe that Flash of Brilliance would have helped win me that game. You know, maybe that Flash of Brilliance would have turned into, like, a give-it-all that would have gave all of my th- things elusive. Or maybe it turns into a progress day that would have i would have had you know an extra burn spell like a mystic shot or something else that would have helped finish that game out you know we just you know so there's a couple of uh small mistakes i made that game uh, but um all right so there we go but anyway that's sump snipe victor so our first allegiance deck of the day um still a success nice winning record that's all you can ask for in master's rank just just keep trying to go three and two i'll keep i'll take that 60 percent win rate all day, especially with these, you know, off the wall fun decks. Um, yeah, great record. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck, um, allegiance cards in general, or just you know what else you want to see on stream. Um, you know, all all those kind of comments. I really enjoy those. They make my day. So um, yeah, that's all I got. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Some sump snipe Victor, and I'll see you for the next video.